Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Clash Clans episode. This is episode 47? 8? I have no idea. But anyway, there has been a lot done. There's been an update for Clash of Clans it's since the last episode in this one. It's been quite a while, maybe two weeks, two and a half weeks or something. So, yeah, it's been crazy. Um, I don't know, right? There was this awesome bug in the newest update. So, the newest update added this um, uh, air sweeper which pushes back um, troops, air troops and stuff. And there was a bug as soon as I, I went on Clash of Clans as soon as the update was released. There was a bug where you could update the walls with Elixir from level 7 to level 8. And my brother told me he could upgrade it from level 6 to level 7 as well with Elixir. And um, yeah, so basically I had this middle bit done and some extra walls on the sides. And I had 6 million Elixir. And um, as soon as the update came out, I clicked on a wall and it said I could upgrade with Elixir. And I was like, holy crap, best thing ever. I'm glad they re-added it. So I spent 6 million Elixir and upgraded 12 walls. Yeah, tw that's it, 12 walls with that. And after I did that, there was a maintenance break that I saw on Twitter. They mentioned it. And then I come back on here and I collected 500,000 more elixir just because it was going to waste and I wasn't spending on anything. And I clicked on a wall and suddenly there wasn't an option to upgrade with elixir. So holy crap, I'm glad I got my walls done while the bug was there. So yeah, crazy how they let a bug like that slip through. I don't know why they just don't keep it like that. Honestly, I just save up so much elixir and it ends up going to waste and stuff so yeah it really sucks but yeah the air sweepers new um, building and stuff and sadly I haven't even used it as soon as I got it which was whenever the update came out it's just been upgrading and upgrading so yeah I haven't even used it at all yet so it kind of sucks but you know it's there um, it's upgrading to level 3 and then finally I'm gonna upgrade to level 4 which is 2,200,000 gold so yeah that's gonna that's why I'm saving up the 2 million and um, yeah, that's going to upgrade to level 4, which should take a week. And then I will hopefully implement it somewhere in my base. And it should be good, should be fun, and it should help out and stuff. So can't wait for that. And that is this, this air sweeper is the reason that my wall production is going a lot slower. But as you can see, I got quite a few done, but not as much as I hoped I would. So yeah, as you can see, I only have, I got 23 days before I can, for my walls to finish. That's when all my upgrades will be done and I need to get it done before then so yeah but as you can see everything is maxed I got my um, lightning spell maxed as well for town hall 8 anyway and yeah the only things left are the minions the healers and the valkyrie and the reason I don't have enough for the valkyrie you might be wondering like two weeks and I can't collect 50,000 but the reason is I've been go wiping so many bases and I have to say say I've gotten a, so much better at go wiping. It's crazy. I can three star bases so easily and it's just so awesome. And guys, if you're wondering what base I'm in or what clan I'm in, the clan is looting psychos. Honestly, the one of the best clans I've been in. The guys here are just so awesome and so cool and I'm so happy to be here. And as you can see from the warlog, I joined like what 14 days ago I guess I was in the you know the red one below that against Anjos the Noit I think I was in that one so yeah since then we won quite a bit um so one two three we've won and that's why I was in here and then we um uh what's it called drew with these guys UNA boys it was close we got the final few stars which drew us and then we lost some as well but there was only like one or two stars so yeah kind of sucked but you know it was there and if you're wondering what strat this is awesome strategy that they use in the clan war it's called plan 57 it's basically everyone like say i'm number four you have to drop two bases so number four here's number four on this map so basically instead of attacking your own number you drop two so four five six so i attack number six and that's basically what happens so number one attacks number three two attacks number four because he drops two three attacks number five and so on so yeah it makes it easier on the people attacking and it's more likely that we're going to get three stars which is crazy good and it's a really good plan just in case you guys want to implement it into your clans and um yes yeah, it's, it's really it's worked out so well and it's really awesome and stuff and then if you're wondering what the second attack is used for that's basically for cleanups only 
So if there's like this this um, base here, it has two stars. Someone else can attack it and try and get the three star. And yeah, that's basically how it works. But as you can see, it works out really well. Three star, three star, all across the board except for number three. And um, yeah, not too bad, not too shabby. I've gotten two three stars, which is cool. And um, yeah, one was uh, my attack, and the other one was a cleanup for one star. The other guy who attacked number eight, um, Shifty. He got 99%. Holy crap. It was crazy. He was so pissed. And <laughs> I, I would have been too. I would have probably smashed my phone against the wall. Like damn. 99%. Crazy. Two stars. It's going good. I'm still down in the trophy range. Gonna start losing trophies. A good trophy range is 1,350. Because as you can see in my attack log, I've gotten quite a bit of loot. Um... I do oh yeah, this one was just a revenge attack on some guy who lightninged my Dark Elixir storage, so yeah, got him back. But as you can see, quite a bit of loot in this town hall level, and it's just been so awesome and so good, so yeah, that 1350. And um, yeah, to check out finally what you guys have been waiting for, the replays. Um, oh, my, my two attacks are right after each other. <laughs> Cool. Oh, one defense and one um, attack. All right. So shifty attack, as you can see, number six and 99%. Damn. Yeah, let's just fast forward. I don't know why he sent the troops up from there. It would have been smart to send it here just because the, the clan castle is closer and you can get rid of the troops. Oh, and guys, if you're doing a go wipe, what I've learned is never, ever, ever take a heal spell with you always take a lightning spell if you're doing it in clan wars if you're doing it not in clan wars then i guess it's okay take a heal but for clan wars always take a lightning just so you can get rid of the troops inside there it helps so much and saves the entire raid so yeah and in the clan castle always take level 5 wizards only don't take another pekka just because it's a slow moving troop and it does a lot of damage but again it's slow moving and yeah it's, it's just it's just too slow the time holy crap yeah this is why as well never take a pekka just because in the clan castle anyway just because they're so slow and the time holy crap they were just there <laughs> oh my god i would be so pissed but yeah never take a pekka it's just too slow and the time will run out before you can get all the all the um uh, buildings and stuff and it just and that ends up happening right there um, if you take wizards then they move faster, they do more damage because there's loads of them and you have more chance of actually getting a 3 star. So as you can see my attack here, let's go ahead and re replay this stuff. 100% of course, um, yeah level 2 golems best thing ever is so much life on them and it's, it's crazy good so yeah only it took me two minutes but you know i did it i did it really well these guys got one of them got wrecked anyway so didn't even go in the same place which really sucks but you know yeah i had loads of spear wall breakers just because you don't really need to break any walls here and um yeah i put the lightning a bit too early and um the wizards came out at that point and it screwed my attack i thought i was i was screwed you know, thankfully it's an open base, so it was a lot easier to attack. But I did do a rage spell, so my wizards would go through and destroy everything. So then sent my peckers in, and afterwards I'll send my clan castle in there with my wizards, extra wizards. And those are literally the difference between a three star and a two star. So yeah, and the reason you want to send the big troops in first is to get rid of the big bombs, traps, and everything. And you know, it does make a huge difference as well, just so your wizards don't get um, destroyed. And because your wizards are your main damage doers, I guess that's the word so yeah and then yeah my troops just literally walked through the base i sent some uh wall breakers in that top just because i had extra ones and i couldn't use them so yeah i thought i lost but then funny enough i had loads of wizards left and loads of high damage troops and uh, high health troops and i just ended up destroying everything which is great so yeah three star there three star another one star for the clan and it went great and for the first attack i did this one I honestly thought I failed so hard, but thankfully I didn't. I was so happy when I didn't. Um, I was happy that I actually took this dragon out before I attacked because if I didn't, I would have been so screwed because my lightning spell wouldn't do anything to him. So yeah, dragon, sleep with the fishies tonight. So I sent in my um, things here and my wall breakers didn't do anything because uh, these guys were distracted by the Tesla and so these cannons were just shooting at my wall breakers, which sucked. You know, they went through and with a rage spell, wall breakers can one shot each wall. So, yeah, I tried to send in the wall breakers to go through to that purple wall over there. But sadly, they weren't there and just 
they didn't really screw it up, but you know, it was, it was an annoyance. So yeah, everyone starts going through, and um, I, after they break through, I just send in a rage spell, and yeah, they start going through. And accidentally, I activated the king's ability. So yeah, it kind of sucked, but kind of was good at the same time. It provided extra um, the distraction for the defenses just because there's more troops. I actually tried to hit my lightning spell but I accidentally hit the raid spell. So yeah, after that I, I thought, oh my god, there's only those wizards there. And these guys I thought were close to death. And I don't know why, I was just paranoid. And then I was like, holy crap, I'm going to lose this. But then I saw these wizards over here. And I saw these guys and I saw the fact that there's only like three defenses left. So... Yeah, after that, I literally just walked through this entire base and end up getting a 3 star. I believe there was like 10, 20 seconds left and I was scared because I thought no one would get this. I was about to lightning it. But then the king went over and took it out for me, which was great. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's about it for this. Um, I'm guessing we are going to win. We've only done 10 attacks, 26 stars, which is crazy good. And I'm really proud and happy with everyone in the clan. It's just such a good clan, honestly. Um, so, yeah, just a few updates and stuff like that. And no attacking today. Just wanted to show you guys that how good I've gotten, how much better I've gotten at um, Go Wipe. And it's honestly such a good strategy for clan wars. I use it a lot. And, um, yeah. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Perfect Lion, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.